In 1973, at the age of 15, Rick Hansen was in a car accident coming back from a fishing trip with friends. He was sitting in the back of the pickup truck when it flipped over the ledge, causing Rick to fly out and land underneath. The accident led him to having a spinal cord injury where he became permanently paralyzed from his waist down. After seven months of extensive rehab in Vancouver, Rick was able to return home where he discovered wheelchair sports and coaching. This provided an outlet for his desire to compete, and he learned to use the wheelchair as something more than transportation. While still adapting to life in a wheelchair, Rick met Stan Strong of the Canadian Paraplegic Association, who recruited him to join the Vancouver Cable Cars wheelchair basketball team. To this day, he credits Stan Strong with his success as a wheelchair athlete. In 1976, he became the first person with a disability to graduate with a physical education degree from the University of British Columbia. In 1977, Rick met Terry Fox and his family. During this time, they played wheelchair basketball together and became good friends. His friendship with Terry Fox was a part of the reason he later decided to do his Man in Motion tour. After university, Rick focused his attention on wheelchair marathons as the sport was becoming more recognized. At the 1980 and 1984 Paralympic Summer Games, he won three gold medals and two silver medals. At the Pan Am Games in 1982, he won four world titles and nine gold medals. Rick Hansen was unstoppable, winning 19 international wheelchair marathons in a row. He was the king on the wheelchair circuit. It was said that when Rick crossed his legs for a race to cut wind, all the Canadians would do it. Even at his best, he never stopped trying to make his chair a little better or to change his technique to make it more efficient. Rick Hansen received the Lou Marsh Award in 1983, but had to share with Wayne Gretzky. Rick still considered it to be a big step for disabled athletes to be equally considered for awards. At the presentation, Wayne Gretzky made a statement supporting Rick and wheelchair athletes as equals. Rick commenced his Man in Motion World Tour in March 1985. It took him to 34 countries and four different continents over a period of 26 months. While in his wheelchair, he traveled 40,075 kilometers, the same distance as the circumference of the Earth. He was inspired by his friend Terry Fox and other individuals with disabilities. He raised awareness for them and became a catalyst to remove barriers that were either physical or erected by social attributes. Rick originally intended to raise $10 million for the Legacy Fund, and despite it being a logistical nightmare, he managed to raise over $26 million for spinal cord research and similar initiatives by the time he returned to Vancouver. He created an awareness that people with disabilities also had hopes and dreams that they were capable of achieving. President of the Rick Hansen Foundation and an advocate for people with disabilities around the world, not just Canada. Can do what must be done.